Uh, young Rene certainly looks fighting fit. He's uh, coached by the former world champion Imran Khan, who's himself making his comeback to competitive fighting in a few weeks' time. Sporting some snazzy shin pads there, young yeah. Azarelli. So end class bout at 70 kilos. Five one and a half minute rounds, this one I think. Both fighters looking in good shape as well. Okay, hey, Rene's had a bucket of water poured over him, but uh, <laughs> as is shaking it off him with some nice body shots. And some good kicks to the body as well. Made a quick start, Azza. Early doors, yeah, but Azza seems the more mobile fighter. He's using his footwork. Setting things up with his jab. Rene, sorry, Phil. Yeah, they're both, they're both still finding the range at the moment. They get that distance. Oh, nice leg kick yeah, there from Rene. Yeah, Rene just moved in a bit. Got closer. a smile from Azza, so you know that one hurt. Yeah. I mean, Rene is not throwing as much as Azza, but when he throws, it certainly lands. Yeah. Good opening round from both fighters there. Fairly even opening round that, wasn't it? Yeah, fairly even. I think Rene uh, looked the stronger of the two, but as was landed, the busiest one. Uh, yeah, landed yeah. more body kicks. Yeah. Let's see how it opens up. Well, as is quick off the mark. Yeah, he's moving in now. Rene's really put up, putting on pressure now. Nice. Fast and frenetic in this second round. Rene threw a lot of knees there, didn't really connect, but he was throwing them, unlike Azza. I think Rene's really trying to bring his strength to bear in this second round, isn't he, Phil? Yeah, I think, uh, I think, oh. uh, I think Rene's read his opponent now from that first round. He knows now what he's got, what he hasn't got. And he's, uh, he's turned that power level up a bit. Yeah, he's going for it now. I mean, as assured, he's got some composure. It'll be interesting to see how he weathers this storm. I mean, his footwork seems to have deserted him. He's standing still now. Yeah, he's, um, he really needs to get onto his feet like he was in the first round. He does. And he needs to keep that guard up as well, because yeah. uh, Rennie's stepping in now to try and, uh, obviously, try and KO him. Well, yeah, Rennie has really impressed his authority, but you, you get the feeling Azza needs to be the matador to, to Rennie's bull. He needs to get that footwork moving. Yeah. Keep him unsettled. But uh, a strong second round there for the Sheffield fighter. Something I've noticed with, with Rene though, Phil, and it's, we've seen it a couple of times with fighters on previous shows, 
playing with the gum shield and opening the jaw and, and not having the, the gum shield actually yeah. uh, biting down on it. Yeah, it's not a good it's not a good sign, is it? Sometimes yeah. betrays fatigue, but at the very least, it, it puts their jaw in a really dangerous position. Yeah. Well, as it seems, still composed in his corner. He's listening to, to Mohamed Yassin. We've seen his footwork. He's got the footwork to be able to move around. Let's see if he can it's, bring uh, it to bear in this third round. Yeah, it's also... Uh, Rene still playing with that mouth guard. Far more confident start by Azza. Using that footwork now. I think he's got to keep on top of Rene, not let Rene build any momentum. Yeah, because I still feel Rene's the stronger of the two. I think that, yeah, uh, you're right there, Phil. And he's, 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 he's demonstrating that in the clinch, isn't he? He's yeah. got a real good control yeah. of him now. He's got that arm pressed across Azza's face. Azza's managed to work it free. Az has got to keep him unsettled with those jabs, with those teeps, not let him build up his... There goes that gum shield. The, the interesting thing here as well is um, Rene is the stronger of the two, but it's how, how long he's going to keep that strength up as well. You know, it's his, uh, his cardio. If his cardio starts failing, he's going to get weak again. I think that's something that Azza needs to test now. Yeah, it may be that Azza might, might work through that, that power with his fitness. It may be that he's fitter. Oh, a nice long left oh, hook there from some Azza. Big, some big shots. And you just see some deeper breathing from uh, Rene. Bit of confusion there in the red corner as to how many rounds there were in this. It's the money rounds now, rounds four and five. You get the feeling, I don't know about you, Phil, that if, if Azza presses the action now uh, starts moving around throwing combinations that, that he could tire Rene because Rene yeah. is really breathing heavy. Yeah, I think... Um, and that gum shield came out as well. Yeah, I think all that power that Rene unleashed in that second round, uh, I think it took a lot out of him as well. And like you say, yeah, as I could uh, start taking over again now. Well, Rene is listening to him, Ran. Goal fighters opening up with kicks to the legs. Doubling up there by Azza. Again, Rene not with that gum shield. It's almost as though he's allergic to it. Yeah. Well, he's gonna need it in. Certainly if uh, Azza's gonna have his way because he's gonna be landing some heavy shots to him. Just out of range there with his punches, Azza. He needs to be stepping in. That's why he's getting picked off with that kick. He's out of range with his own strikes and he's getting caught. Yeah, he's Second just, strong body kick. Yeah, took a big body kick then. Oh, oh a long left hook there from Rene. Again Two as well. Three times. Three times. He's rung Gaza's bell twice there. I think he's still yeah. on, uh, on Queer Street. Is as his legs don't look solid underneath him he needs to get those hands up he needs to get on his feet i'm wondering if is if Rennie is tiring now as well because uh it, as you say as i was looking him steady on his feet and Rennie should have been just straight in going to finish him off and he never he just relied on his kicks instead and i'm wondering if he's getting a bit tired I think despite some success, I think Rene has had the last couple of rounds sh purely from the power of the strikes yeah. he's landed, really effective. Anything that Az has thrown, Rene has responded to yeah. and replied. Az has, Az has been that s just slightly out of range every time when he's yeah, thrown Yeah, he needs to techniques. step in with those punches. Yeah. So this should be a good round. Still with those punches, as is out of range, he needs to really step in. I think he needs a, a really strong round. He, probably a stoppage to take this. Oh, it's a shin there.
That low yeah. guard is Rennie is really making him pay for that. Rennie, Rennie is, is power all the time, so he's scoring pretty well. And as is letting him get away with it as well. Yeah, as is not punishing him for where he not. misses, for when he leaves himself open. And as is allowing Rennie to dictate the pace now. Nice body kick there from Mazza. Oh, another long left hook. And Azza's just not throwing anything in the clinch. Rene might not be hugely effective, but he's scoring. Good fight there by two game competitors. Yeah, Azza, Azza had the speed, but uh, Rene, he had the power. And uh, I think I think he scored better with the shots as well. And the judges scorecard for this battle, a unanimous decision, blue corner! Yep. Well deserved victory there by Rene. Game performance by Azza. Azza, very good technically, good footwork. I think when he starts to bring that together more and starts just stepping in, he could easily win a fight with uh, a fighter like Rene, but today yeah. it wasn't his day.